Hey, hey, welcome back. It's day five. I appreciate you showing up again. And, you know, it serves you well, too, to have your uke in hand every day. So tell me, how are you feeling now that you're playing a little bit more every day? Do you find yourself kind of in a little better mood after you've strummed your uke for a little bit? Or, you know, is it kind of frustrating you? I want to know about that. Leave that in the comments below and we can uh, chat a little bit more about your experience. But in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about the most useful strumming pattern that I could think of and one that I think comes across in many, many songs, and that is the down, down, up, up, down, up pattern. So it's sometimes called the island strum. What I call it is probably the most useful strumming pattern that you're gonna come across as you play uke. So we're gonna take a look at how to warm up with that pattern, get our rhythm hand going with some warm ups, and then we're gonna dissect the pattern a little bit and work on a few chord progressions. So get tuned up, put a smile on your face, and uh, let's play some uke. So let's get warmed up. And for today's warm up, we're just going to use the strumming pattern that we're going to use for the video, which is down, down, up, up, down, up. So let me show you how to do that really quick. And we're going to just start off muted for this warm up. Now, before you start strumming, anytime before you launch into a song, I think this exercise of doing the muted strum like we did earlier in the series is really going to help you kind of build some confidence and comfort in your strumming hand before you start working on your one thing. So. Here is the pattern. So we're gonna use either just your index finger or a combination of index and thumb. If you just use your index, you use that for your down and up strum. If you use your thumb, index for your down strum and thumb for your up strum. So note here too, my arm is braced up against the uke. It's not floating. So keep these technique things in mind as you warm up too. This is a good time to start kind of instilling good habits and things that you kind of keep doing every day. So you're building up that foundation really nicely. So here is the pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now the way I count that, and I want you to do this at home with me too, is count one, two, and and four and one two and and four and now there's a whole video about this strumming pattern that you can check out that has a lot more detail about all the little counting and things like that but for now i just want to introduce you to that concept of kind of counting as you strum and here we go with a little warm-up take your time here mute the neck so that the strings are all muted out and Feel free to watch your strumming hand as you're doing this when you warm up. Really hone in on your technique and making sure you're doing it the same way every time. Aim to get the same volume every time. Now, as I mentioned in some of my PDFs, if you kind of get bored with, you know, some of these simple warm-ups, try to jazz them up a little bit. Adjust your dynamics, change your volume, do some little things to make them a little bit more fun. So here we go with the warm-up of down, down, up, up, down, up. We're just gonna take our time Go nice and slow and just kind of get our rhythm hand working here. So I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, up. Nice and easy. Keep it going. Down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. One more time. Up, down, up. So take as many repetitions as you need there. We're gonna talk now about using this strumming pattern with a series of chords. So the entire focus for today is really honing in on this strumming pattern. And why? Because it is a very common strumming pattern, if not the most common strumming pattern that you'll run across as you play uke. So we're gonna take the chord progression from day two of this series, which was F, A7, F, C. So I know you've had a chance to work on that with the down up strum. So now I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of revisit that 
So you have a little confidence in that chord progression and incorporate the down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern. So we'll go nice and slow and then we'll do it with a little bit more tempo. We'll do the strumming pattern two times per chord. As I go down, down, up, up, down, up, that equals one time. So two times per chord. Now, as you start moving away from looking at the strumming pattern hand or looking at your strumming hand here rather, I want you to kind of start moving your focus over here to your fretting hand so you can start really honing in on moving these chords. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Back to the F. To the C. All right, let's bump up the tempo a little bit and do the exact same chord progression, the exact same number of times, just a little bit more tempo here. If you're not ready to speed up, don't feel any pressure to speed up at this point. Take your time, go slow, really work on your technique, making sure all of these notes are ringing out clearly. And I'll just mention on the side note here, I'm strumming all of the strings when I do this. I know some of you have asked about that before, is do I always strum all the strings? Well, in this case, yes, you do. So here we go again, a little bit more tempo. One, two, three, four. Switch to A7. Back to the F. Smile and enjoy the sweet sounds of the uke. Let's do it again. Back to the F chord. What would you rather be doing right now than playing uke with me? Back to the F. And the C chord. All right, so now to kind of advance things a little bit here, we're gonna incorporate a three finger chord here. So if you've never played a three finger chord, we're gonna introduce the G7 chord into the progression. Now, I'm using down, down, up, up, down, up, which is the most common strum, I think, and the C, A minor, F, G7 chord progression, which is the Hawaiian turnaround. So basically, this is the most popular chord progression, the most popular strum, all served on a platter for you. Here we go. Same thing, slow tempo, and then we'll bump it up a little bit. So take your time here. If you need to work through your chords a few times to warm up your left hand or your right hand, depending, your fretting hand, do that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again. Two times per chord, A minor. for the next chord, go into the F, keep your eyes on your fingers, on your chord fingers, G7, and on C. All right, now we're going to bump up the tempo a little bit, and speaking of tempo, if you stick around and come see us for day six, the metronome is in your future, so keep that in mind. Here we go with a little bit more pace, same chord progression, same strumming pattern, same amount of fun. Here we go. One, two, three, 
four. Today's question comes from Linny on the day two. She says, when you are strumming, do you use your thumbnail part or index nail? So this is something I want to talk a little bit about. When you're strumming, I like to keep my fingernails pretty short. Now, unless I'm finger picking where I might let them be a little bit longer, I try to keep my index, thumb, and middle finger nails all pretty short. So when I strum, if I do catch a little bit of the nail, it's still pretty light. You don't want to have super long fingernails, and I know that's a problem for some people because they want to keep their nails long. But what I will say about this is your fingernails will produce a little bit different tone than if you're using the pads of your fingers. So I'll just give you an example here. If I were to strum this and kind of hit it with my nail, I get a little bit more volume. I get a little bit more kind of attack on the strings. So if that's what you're going for, you can kind of use a little bit of your nail, and I'm not saying try to scrape your nail on it, but if your nail kind of drags across it and you're kind of getting the cuticle a little bit, that's okay. It's just gonna produce a little bit different tone. Now, if you want a little softer, more delicate tone to it, if you're just using the pad of your finger, you can hear it's a little softer, a little bit more delicate. So the answer to the question, either way is okay. They're going to produce different tones and it's a situational thing. You made it through day five. Are you finding five minutes a day to practice? Have you set your intentions for the year or have you already abandoned your New Year's resolution like many of us have already by mid-January? I hope not. I hope that playing a little bit every day is bringing you some happiness, some joy, and just kind of a little bit of a mental escape because I know that we all could use that sometimes. So I thank you so much for joining me for this series. We've got more days to come. And as I mentioned before, we're gonna do a little bit of talking about the metronome in the upcoming video. So if you're into that, I hope you'll join me for the next couple of videos. Please subscribe if you're not already. Comment below, let us know your questions, and jump over to allforyuke.com where I have a PDF put together for this lesson and the rest of the lessons in the series. It'll give you a little infrastructure for your practice some other chord progressions that I don't mention in the videos, and some other cool stuff for you to improve your playing. My name's Kevin. Thanks so much for joining me here for day five.